Hi everyone. In today's video, I will take up a trim question. Uh, this is a type A problem from Captain Subramaniam's Ship Stability Series Part 2. And this question is an unsolved question in exercise 22. Uh, this is question number 12. Alright, so let's get started. In this question, there is a ship that is uh, drawing a draft of 7.6 meters forward and 8.4 meters aft. It has a length between perpendicular of 140 meters. The HF, which I will explain as we go along, is 2.7 meters aft. MCTC or moment to change trim by 1 centimeter is 170 ton meter and TPC is 28. TPC, as you probably know, stands for tons per centimeter of immersion. You have to find where 140 tons may be loaded if the aft draft is to remain constant. So the aft draft cannot change, right? So the aft draft is 8.4 meters, it will remain at 8.4 meters. So if the aft draft does not change when you load the cargo, only the forward draft should change. So you have to state the draft forward after loading. All right. Uh, so before you approach any ship stability question, no matter how difficult it seems to you at first glance, just draw a diagram and try to sort out whatever you can understand. And that also, you know, it gives you some points with the examiner uh, because the examiner then thinks, okay, you did try to have a think about it and some concepts are very clear, but maybe, you know, there were some others that could not resolve in your mind. All right. So anyhow. Uh, all right. So this is something like this is the ship trim by stern because the forward draft is 7.6 meters <clears throat> and the aft draft is 8.4 meters all right and then you have somewhere in the center is the midship not somewhere in the center exactly at center is the midship i i denote the midship by this symbol here uh, but you can also denote it with the letter h h stands for midship all right so the term hf is 2.7 meters aft that means the center of flotation is 2.7 meters aft of the midship all right so somewhere maybe we can just say somewhere here and flotation is normally you know so we can just call this f and this is 2.7 meters aft of f so this is where the center of flotation is this is the point about which the ship will trim all right, so the length between perpendicular is 140 meters. That means the total length of the vessel is 140 meters. So the distance from the aft perpendicular to midship is half of length between perpendicular. This is 70 meters and this is 70 meters as well. All right. Okay, what else do we know? So we have to load the cargo of 140 tons to keep the aft draft same. Right? So if I load the cargo exactly at the center of flotation, exactly here, if I load it exactly here at the center of flotation, then the vessel will sink overall forward and aft it will be sinking right so that means the mean sinkage we can call it the mean sinkage is equal to the weight loaded how much is the weight loaded so let me write it like this w small w divided by the tpc so that means here you can write 140 tons of cargo is loaded divided by 28 so this is the uh, this is the sinkage the forward and the aft draft will experience if I load it exactly at the center of flotation. However, what I have to remember is that the aft draft cannot change. But whenever I load the cargo, if I load the cargo even at the forward part, the vessel will sink overall. It doesn't matter where. So even I load anywhere I load the cargo, the vessel will sink. That means the vessel, if it sinks, the aft draft will go down. The aft draft will increase. So I need to bring the vessel back up, the aft part of the vessel back up 
because if I load the cargo anywhere the vessel will experience an overall sinkage that means the draft will increase right the draft will increase so 8.4 may become 8.5 so the water level will go up somewhere here let's say so for me for the aft draft to be kept same I have to then make sure that the aft draft the vessel comes out of water so that the draft reduces back to 8.4 so I have to bring the vessel back up but by how much amount that amount equals to the amount of main sinkage right because when I load the cargo of 140 tons the draft will increase by an amount of the main sinkage measured by weight loaded divided by TPC so to keep the aft draft unchanged I have to bring the vessel back up by the same amount that means the change in the trim aft required or TA should be equal to mean sinkage that is the amount by which I have to change the aft draft so that so that the the draft aft remains unchanged so change in the trim aft will be equal to mean sinkage in this case right so ta is a change in the trim aft and that way to keep aft draft same okay to keep aft draft same so mean sinkage you know is so 140 by 28 but remember the formula for calculating change in the trim aft is distance from center of rotation to aft perpendicular divided by length between perpendicular multiplied by change in the trim overall okay now change in the trim overall or overall change in the trim is measured by trimming moment divided by MCTC what is trimming moment trimming moment is nothing but the weight loaded 140 tons multiplied by the distance at which it was loaded this is what we have to find out so we call it D so distance from the center of rotation so this distance here we don't know what the distance is it could be closer it could be further away but the distance that it was loaded right we have to try to load it in the forward part of the vessel remember we have to load it in the forward part of the center of rotation because we don't want the aft draft to change too much we want forward draft changing is fine aft draft should not change more than what is measured by the mean sinkage that is why we try to load it in the forward part of the vessel because we don't want the aft draft to change so this is divided by mctc so if i replace the formula for tc here if i replace it what does the change in the trim aft formula become af by lbp what is af again if you don't know what i mean by af af is from aft perpendicular to center of rotation this is af that also we can measure i'll show you how multiplied by we have replaced the formula for tc by w by d divided by mctc but here we can see that the change in the trim aft is also equal to mean sinkage which is this figure here so we will equate this to 140 by 28 then we don't need this here we will just work with this equation so let's find out one by one what is AF so AF is this distance here so as you know from our perpendicular to the midship is 70 meters from midship to center of rotation is 2.7 meters so what will be AF? AF will be nothing but 70 minus 2.7 meters which is equal to 67.3 meters. Right? Watch this diagram. That's why I said the diagram becomes very very important in this case. Right? Rest is given to you. So AF is 67.3. LBP is given to you as 140 meters for length between perpendicular. You know the weight to be loaded 140. Distance is something I don't know. I have to find that out and MCTC is 170 this is nothing but 140 by 28 all right this is 140 by 28 now all you have to do is put the figures in the calculator so that you can calculate this figure all right so 
it's up to you how you want to do it so you can cancel out these and make it simpler but if you isolate d equals to 140 by 170 divided by 28 multiplied by 67.3 so what have i done i have taken this here i have brought this down so i've kind of isolated d on one side because d is the unknown right so you will find out d is nothing but 12.63 meters and that will be forward of the forward of the center of rotation remember right because the more forward we load the lesser will be the overall change in the tra uh, the draft aft all right so this becomes 12.63 meters forward of the center of rotation all right so this is d you have found out one answer the other thing you have to find out is the change in the draft forward because change in the draft aft is not going to be there uh, because if i load the cargo here 12.63 meters forward of center of rotation the aft draft will remain unchanged so the overall sinkage will not affect the aft draft as much as it would have if i had loaded it aft of the center of rotation All right so what is the going to be the draft forward so what the, there will be some change in the draft forward right now we have determined that change in the aft draft ta is equal to mean sinkage that is the only change right we have determined that so this is done now that means whatever change in the trim overall change in the trim will be equal to tf that is change in the trim forward so overall change in the trim will only be changing the draft forward so tc as you know overall change in the trim is equal to trimming moment which is nothing but w by t divided by mctc and this is also equal to tf which is the change in the draft forward so this can be measured by 140 by 12.63 divided by 170 this will give you tc or tc equals tf in this case as 10.4 but this is 10.4 centimeters right so 10.4 centimeters needs to be divided by 100 to convert into meters because you want to change this to meters because you want to apply it to the draft which is given in meters right convert i just put these notes here so that you know what i'm doing here into meters all right so draft forward was 7.600 meters and change in the trim or tc or tf you can call it in this case is the same now it will increase because you are loading the cargo forward of the center of rotation so the final draft will be 7.704 meters all right so this is how you keep the aft draft constant and there will be change in the forward draft and so hopefully you have understood how I solved this question. I'll take up more examples in this topic. This is a bit of a complicated topic and I've been requested by many uh, subscribers to make uh, videos on these questions. So I will keep making questions or rather keep making videos on these questions. All right. All right. That's pretty much it from my side. Study hard. Good luck and see you soon.